This time on Open Framework Super Basics, we're using the OF Translate functions to make complicated looking drawings out of really simple elements. Welcome back, uh, Open Framework Super Basics. This week, gonna run through fast, a couple of really, really cool things for animation, for being able to make complicated animation and complicated drawing without thinking about loads and loads of complicated maths. I'm gonna be looking at the OF translate function, which basically is a way of grabbing something, moving it, doing a thing, and then putting it back where it came from. But it allows us to do complicated mathematics on our animations without needing to calculate the positions of all kinds of stuff. Essentially what we can do is we can grab our screen, our drawing paper, and instead of worrying about where we're gonna do a drawing, what we can do is say, we just wanna do this drawing and underneath will move the screen about. It's kinda of cool. And it works like this. In Open Frameworks, I've made a basic project. In the header file, all I've got is a setup routine, a draw, um, update, and I've kept in the key pressed function because in previous uh, versions of the videos, I showed you how to hack the templates and we set up a toggle full screen in. So in the CPP file, I've just got my set up my update and my draw and my key pressed and all i'm going to draw is say in my draw routine of draw rectangle at naught naught and make it 20 by 20. And uh, also for good measure, I'm gonna say OF no fill. So this is gonna draw just the outline of us as our shapes. We can set fill to be true or false for these things. And I'm gonna set OF background to be zero and implicitly if I say zero, it makes the red, green, and blue RGB all the same. So it'll be zero red, zero green, zero blue, i.e. black, stylish. So if I compile this now, it's going to run, set no fill, set the background to be black, fire up my window, and draw me my rectangle. So there we have it. Super exciting, a tiny little rectangle up in the middle. Now, if I wanted to do complicated drawing, I could work out the position of a rectangle, especially if I wanted to do some algorithmic things. But there's a routine that I can use, which is called OF translate. And it says, move the screen. Keep my pen in one place and move this stuff underneath it that I'm gonna draw. And I can translate and rotate as well. So what I could do is I could say, translate the screen halfway up and halfway across and then draw my rectangle. So if I say OF translate, OF get width, width the screen divided by two, OF get height divided by two. So it's now gonna move my drawing plane underneath halfway across and halfway up and still draw my rectangle at what it thinks is zero, zero. So if I draw this now, bearing in mind the rectangle normally draws from the upper top corner. And if I look, there's my rectangle right in the middle of the screen. Even though when we look at the code, I've told it to draw at zero, zero, which is kind of interesting. Now I can do some other stuff with translate. So I could say OF rotate and the simplest is by a number of degrees. So I could say OF rotate by 45 degrees. So it'll move the drawing plane, rotate it, and then draw. But what I see when I put that to screen is it shifts it all back again, which is kind of cool. So I've got my rectangle 
drawn 45 degrees. So we've moved across, rotated, then drawn, and then let it all come back. Now, to show you what I mean, I'm going to put in just a little title. So I'm going to say OF draw bitmap string. So it just uses the, like the inbuilt system font as a bitmap, and I can draw text to screen. So I can say, this is my So I can use OF draw bitmap string, string, and I give it the text that I want to print to the screen, and then I tell it where I want that to appear. And I'm just going to say I want it to be a 10 across and 10 down. So this should print out at the top of the screen. But what's happened is it's moved across and down because we've done this translation on the screen. But I don't want that to be there anymore. And we can use an additional command called OF push matrix. And it says, basically, grab where everything is, freeze it, pop it to one side for a minute, do some things to it, add translations, etc. And then it has a corresponding command called OF pop matrix, which says, OK, great, I've finished doing all this drawing over here. Bring it back to where it was. So I freeze everything, muck around with it, push it around, move it all over the place, and then unfreeze it and carry on doing other things. So in my code, in my draw routine here, I'm going to say, grab the screen, freeze it, put it to one side, do these translation and rotation, draw me a rectangle, and then put it back to where it was as if we were up here on line 27, and then do this bitmap string. Because we've unfrozen the screen after we've done these translations, it's as if the translations never happened. And now it should translate, rotate, draw my rectangle, and then up at the top of the screen, you'll see it's got this is my translated animation. I'm just going to move this across a little bit, make it easier. So that's really cool. What I can also do is start to do things inside loops because of this. So if I wanted, what I could say is I want to make a four a four loop. Uh, I is less than 400. Uh, we'll go I plus equals 25. So now it's going to draw, draw me uh, a whole range of rectangles. And I'm going to set the location on the X to use this I integer that's incrementing inside our loop. So it'll translate, rotate, draw, and I get this great line rotated. What's great is I haven't had to work out using trigonometry where these should be. I just know I want this to be over there and I want it to be rotated. What I could actually do is each time we draw a circle, I'm going to say OF rotate degrees, and I can rotate in x, y, and z directions. So you, you know, um, x, y, and z. So we can rotate it in three space in any dimension. We're going to come to three dimensions later on. I'm just going to say rotate this, etc. If I said i divided by 25, that'll rotate it just one or two or three or four or five just a small amount each time. And we see we have this rotation, which is really, really cool. So what we're able to do is translate around the screen and rotate. And we can freeze where we are and put it back. So I've got push matrix, freeze the screen, I'm going to do something else, corresponding with pop matrix, which means unfreeze and let me do something else. And I can use these translations and rotations iteratively 
inside my loops. And I think what I'm going to do is show you one additional thing, which we, we used last time, which is I'm going to say um, I'm going to say get the system milliseconds and divide that by 10. So rather than counting up really, really fast through milliseconds, it's, it's counting hundreds of seconds. So it's a little slower. And instead of saying rotate by I, I'm going to say rotate by time, but I want it to be mod 360 degrees. So it'll just count up to 360 and then 360 and 360 and 360. So we can use this rotation like so. And if I run that full screen, and I think I'm going to say, oh, if line width 10, and then let's say RF set color and give it a slightly more interesting color. And there. Super simple. And then I could add loops to this to make more. I can put things over the top. But you see, I've got this translation, and the text at the top, this is my translated animation, stays there. Because we're freezing the screen, doing a rotation, doing a movement, doing a small rotation, unfreezing, drawing the text. And that is super, super simple way to start making complicated animations without worrying about loads and loads of maths by using the translate functions. I'm going to overshare this a tiny bit, I think. And I'm going to say, OF set color. Time divided by 10 mod 255. So now we're going to use time again, but slow it down even more and just alter the red value as we go through. And we see going through. And I think what I'm going to do is slow that down even more. So our animation slows down and maybe we'll make the rectangles bigger. So now we have our spiraling animation that's using time to count our rotations, drawing all by using this translate function. And there we have it. Super simple animation based upon algorithms using the OF translate function and using time to help us work through changing values. So, super quick example. I'm going to be doing some more and rebuilding work from various different artists next video. But between now and then, send me your uh, comments. Send me the work that you're doing. I'm really interested to see what's going on. Ask me questions. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you on the next video in Open Frameworks Super Basics.